Hello and welcome to TW 2020 WWE here. We are back today with Survivor Series. A huge pay for lots of matches. We're going to get right into things here with Night 1. And there is a promo video of the matches of this stacked night of action. With the Intercontinental title fail 4-way. The Raw Tag Team title match. The Women's World title match. The Million Dollar title match. The Universal title match between Biggie and Fadis Bullard. And the main event, Karrion Cross and Chad Gable for the NXT Championship. It's a 90 for this good little you know promo video just to start things off get things onto a ratings high i liked to start my pay-per-views like that i think it's a good way to do it uh, and then we head backstage for this segment as we have william regal and page in an office together and in walks chad gable Shayna baszler and fatty s bullard accompanied by paul Heyman, and they hand in their titles chad gable hands william regal the nxt north american championship and Shayna baszler and Paul Heyman hand Page the Million Dollar Championship and Intercontinental Championship respectively. All three titles now officially vacated, all three champions vacating their belts for the opportunities they will be receiving. Shayna Baszler getting a Women's Universal Championship match against Rhea Ripley on night two, Thaddeus Bullard getting a Universal title match against Big E tonight, and Chad Gable of course, as I said, in the main event, getting his NXT Championship match with Karrion Cross For an 81 here, good segment from these guys, all huge matches this weekend, all looking to gain some gold will they be able to do it we'll have to find out we're kicking things off though finding out who the new intercontinental champion will be it's a fatal four-way match between the man Fadius Bullard has been mentoring his prodigal the prodigal son of the Bullard brand Apollo Crews Johnny Gargano Robert Roode and Rich Swan. four amazing competitors all looking to win the intercontinental who will come out on top in the end the referee gets taken down a bit Johnny Gargano manages to take out Robert Roode and covers him but as he does, Apollo Crews takes out Rich One and covers him. The referee coming to notices Apollo Crews pinning Rich One, but he doesn't notice Gargano pinning Rude behind him. The referee counts to one, two, three for Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews, the new Intercontinental Champion. Johnny Gargano also had the three on Rude, but the referee didn't see it. All he saw was Crews, and Crews is the victor. Apollo Crews, Intercontinental Champion. The Intercontinental title staying in the Bullard brand, passing from Thaddeus Bullard to Apollo Crews for an 82 here. Really strong opener from these guys. 88 Gargano, uh, 78 Crews, 77 Rude, 73 Swan. Really happy with this as Apollo Crews comes out on top after the match. Johnny Gargano thinks he's won it, but Apollo Crews' music plays and Apollo Crews is handed the title. Gargano distraught. He can't believe it. He thought he had won the Intercontinental title. But Apollo Crews is the man with his arm raised as he smiles and taunts Gargano with that gold he's acquired for a 90 here. Great work. Apollo Crews did a masterful job. Happy with this. Apollo Crews, intercontinental champion on SmackDown. Johnny Gargano, so close, but doesn't quite get there. Then next up, we have the Raw Tag Team Championship match. They've been battling and warring for weeks, and I'm sure isn't going to be exactly the same tonight. It is the Celtic Warriors, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre, defending their gold against the Viking Raiders, Ivar and Eric. Both teams going at it. This isn't a wrestling match. This is a brawl. These guys want to hurt each other. They want to break each other. But in the end, it's the Celtic Warriors who come out on top. Drew McIntyre managing to hit Ivar with the Claymore kick and pick up the pinfall to retain the Raw Tag Team titles. 77 for the match, 77 Drew, 65 Eric, 64 Sheamus, 62 Ivar. Happy with this. Good work from these four guys. Uh, Drew McIntyre is doing very well with the 77 to get this to a 77 second reign as the Kelsey Warriors retain those Raw Tag Team titles over the Viking Raiders here. Before next up, we will crown a new million dollar champion, Apollo Crews won the first vacant title of the night. Who will win the second is Asuka versus Diona Porrazo for that million dollar title. They fought earlier in the year over the women's world title with Asuka coming out on top. Who will come out on top here? And you have to remember Diona Porrazo's little gang members, Lana and Chelsea Green, both banned from ringside. Asuka versus Diona Porrazo. And Asuka at one point hitting a stiff kick on Porrazo. Porrazo going down, looking hurt. The referee kind of stopping things here, going over and checking on Diona Porrazo. Asuka feeling it ready when out of nowhere Oscar attacks from behind the referee not seeing it by Aaliyah Aaliyah hitting Oscar in the back of the head with an object of some sort and then quickly leaving the ring hiding at ringside as Diana Proza magically feels better gets up quickly grabbing Oscar taking her down and pinning her for the one two three Diana Perazzo your new million dollar champion for a 78 here 
brilliant match between these two. 82 for Oscar, 64 Prozo. Really happy with this. But it's Diona Prozo following that interference from Aaliyah coming out on top. After the match, Diona Prozo taking the million dollar title and going up the ramp. Aaliyah joining her, Chelsea Green and Lana joining her on the stage. And Diona Prozo at the top of the ramp poses with the million dollar title surrounded by her little group here of Aaliyah, Chelsea Green and Lana. Whilst Oscar looks on from the ring and Oscar looks very angry, shall I say, as you'd expect following that cheating from Diona Prozo leading to her defeat for an 81 here. Really happy with this. Really good work from the women involved. Diona Prozo, million dollar champion. Her first title in WWE. Big moment for her. Very happy for her. As we head into the second women's title match of the night is for the Women's World Championship. It's Sasha Banks taking on Ember Moon. Sasha Banks having a Big entrance for a 91 here, accompanied by security once again, Sasha Banks ready for action. And then the match, Sasha Banks versus Ember Moon for the Women's World Championship. And in the end, Sasha Banks comes out on top. Sasha Banks pinning Ember Moon, following Ember Moon going up for the Eclipse, but Sasha Banks managing to get up, stop Ember Moon at the top rope. And then Sasha Banks hitting a backstabber off of the top rope onto Ember Moon and covering her for the 1-2-3. Sasha Banks retaining the Women's World title for an 85 here brilliant match between these two this night keeps on rolling segment rating wise Sasha Banks and Ember Moon putting on a great performance for that 85 87 Sasha 70 Ember Moon both doing brilliant but it's Sasha Banks who comes out on top and then after the match Sasha Banks celebrates for an 88 she is very happy she is gloating she is taunting Ember Moon Sasha Banks retaining the women's world title over Ember Moon and proving that maybe she is the blueprint, the boss, and the best, and the leader of Raw's women's division. We then have the entrances for the WWE Universal Championship match. Thaddeus Bullard coming out first. Just Thaddeus Bullard and Paul Heyman. No LA Knight, no Cameron Grimes, no Apollo Crews, no Spanish Fly. Apollo Thaddeus Bullard is going to do this on his own. He makes his way out and he's followed, of course, by the Universal Champion Big E. An 84 for this segment. And then the match. The Universal Champion Big E won the Royal Rumble, won the title at WrestleMania. He's held it from WrestleMania to now, taking on Thaddeus Bullard. Thaddeus Bullard, Intercontinental Champion for one year. During that year, hasn't been pinned and hasn't been submitted, but now gave that title up for this match for the Universal title. It's Big E versus Thaddeus Bullard for the Universal Championship. And in the end, Big E managing to get Thaddeus Bullard up on his back, going for the big ending with Thaddeus Bullard wiggling off the back of it and shoving Big E forward. Big E bumping into the ref, knocking the ref into the ropes. Therefore, going down, Big E checking on the ref. Big E then getting up, turning around, Bullard going for the Bullard boot. Big E ducking underneath that and going for the big ending. Thaddeus Bullard trying to get out of it again, kind of moving Big E backwards towards the rope. And out of nowhere, Big E smashed in the back by a lead pipe, by that hooded figure once again. Exactly the same as bragging rights, but that hooded figure came out, smashed Big E in the back when he was going for a big ending, and he dropped Karrion Cross, and Karrion Cross put him in the cross jacket, and Big E lost that match after being knocked out. The hooded figure smashes Big E in the back with that lead pipe. Big E dropping Bullard, going down. Bullard realizing what's happened, running, bouncing against the rope, hitting a Bullard boot onto Big E, and then picking him up for a Bullard bomb, covering him, Paul Heyman, Waking up the ref, the referee noticing and counting the one, two, three. Your winner, and I'm not insane, your new Universal Champion, the man formerly known as Titus O'Neil, but now known as Thaddeus Bullard. Thaddeus Bullard has done it. Following that interference from whoever this hooded figure is, who seems hell bent on hurting Big E and costing him these big matches, Thaddeus Bullard has done it. For an 86 brilliant match between these two segment ratings for this pay-per-view have been amazing the build-up was great i'm glad the pay-per-views are going well as well 78 bullards 86 Big E, both doing great but it's thaddeus bullard who comes out on top and then after the match the bullard brand come to the ring and we have the moment that all great stables have as thaddeus bullard apollo cruz socrates torres and alfonso Bowman all raise their titles it's the all the gold moment all the smackdown gold belongs to the bullard brand la knight Cameron Grimes and Paul Heyman there as well. The Bullard brand have all of the SmackDown gold now for an 87 here. Great segment to end things. I lo Who doesn't love an all the gold segment? And the Bullard brand do have all the gold. 87 for that. Really good work. And just to say it again in case, in case you forgot or something. The man formerly known as Titus O'Neil is officially 
Universal Heavyweight Champion. Moving on from that though, it's time for the main event. First we go a little back backstage, just behind the curtain we have Chad Gable warming up. He's ready for this match. Randy Orton walks by, he asks Gable if he wants him at ringside and Gable says no. He says he needs to do this on his own. Orton says he respects that, he wishes him luck. And Orton walks away and Gable's music hits and Gable makes his way out to the ring. A 90 for that segment and then a 92 for the entrances. Chad Gable coming out first and then Karrion Cross, the NXT champion coming out. Karrion Cross. A dominant reign, beating Alistair Black, the Velveteen Dream, John Cena, Randy Orton on multiple occasions, beating Big E and Adam Cole at bragging rights. And now Karrion Cross against Chad Gable. Last time they met, Cross came out on top, but since then Chad Gable has been trained by Randy Orton. Chad Gable won the NXT North American title against Keith Lee. Chad Gable has done so, so well. But here he is. Can he overcome Karrion Cross? Can Chad Gable finally reach the top of the mountain and become a world champion? The main event of Survivor Series Night 1, Karrion Cross. Chad Gable for the NXT Championship and in the end your winner and a new NXT Champion Chad Gable. Chad Gable does it. Karrion Cross going for that running elbow onto Chad Gable he charges. Chad Gable ducks though Karrion Cross turns around and Chad Gable hits Karrion Cross with an RKO and then just over 22 minutes Chad Gable covers for the one, two, three, and 89 for that match. Brilliant main event tonight, one. The match of the night in the main event, exactly what you want to see. As Chad Gable finally does it, he's reached the top of the mountain. He's become NXT World Heavyweight Champion. 88 for Chad Gable, putting in the performance of his life. Carrying Cross off his game a little bit, still getting that 81. Still helping Chad Gable have a brilliant match for his crowning moment. Chad Gable has defeated Karrion Cross. The unstoppable Karrion Cross has been defeated. He has been dethroned after the match. Randy Orton makes his way out to the ring and he, Randy Orton hugs Chad. Randy Orton and Chad Gable hug. Randy Orton, not a man of emotion, but feeling it here. He hugs Chad Gable. He raises his hand. He hands him the NXT Championship and then Randy Orton leaves the ring. He applauds Chad Gable. He goes up the ramp and leaves because this is Chad Gable's moment. And Chad Gable he seems to finally realise that he's screaming, he's shouting, he's climbing the turnbuckle and raising the title, black and gold confetti raining down from the ceiling as Chad Gable has done it. And that's how Survivor Series ends. Chad Gable celebrates in the ring as black and gold confetti rains down for an 85. Brilliant ending to what's been a brilliant night one, I think, of Survivor Series. Overall, it gets a rating of 90. Perfect, beautiful, so happy with that. What a show, one of the best shows of the save so far. A great first night Survivor Series here. A lot of new champions. Apollo Crews winning the Intercontinental title. Deonna Prozzo winning the Million Dollar title. And of course two superstars winning their first ever world titles in the form of Thaddeus Bullard and Chad Gable. Your new Universal and NXT champions respectively. What a night one. I am going to make my speeches here. And I'm going to single out Chad Gable and Thaddeus Bullard especially. And what am I going to say to them? I'm going to praise them for a great performance. And I'm going to praise Sasha as well, because her and Ember had a really good match. Pleased, pleased, pleased. And I am more than pleased with this night one. What a first night of Survivor Series here. Hopefully, we can keep this going with Survivor Series Night 2, also a stacked card. Let's get right into it here. And just like night one, Survivor Series Night 2 getting underway here with a little promo video previewing tonight's action. Six big matches, the US title match, the Women's Universal title match, the North American title match, NXT Women's title match, WWE title match, and the main event, the Usos teaming up to take on the Dream Team together once again. Ten years after they teamed for the first and what people thought was the only time, they are back together. John Cena and The Rock teaming up in the main event against the Usos. 84 for that, a stacked card. And we're going to get right into it here with the United States Championship on the line. Kyle O'Reilly versus Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens looking for revenge on the Undisputed Era. At SummerSlam, it was going to be this match. It was going to be Kyle O'Reilly, Kevin Owens for the United States title. But the Undisputed Era injured Kevin Owens in the build-up to that match. I think two weeks before SummerSlam, they injured him, taking Kevin Owens out of the event. Kevin Owens had to go away, but then returning in the build-up to Survivor Series. They're taking out the UE one by one, and now getting this match against Kyle O'Reilly for the United States title to kick things off here. And in the end, Kevin Owens winning the United States Championship for a 76 here. A little disappointment segment rating-wise, but still, good match between these two. 
uh, 80 for Kyle and 80 for Owens, both giving it their all to kick things off here. But it's Kevin Owens who comes up on top, hitting that pop-up powerbomb onto Kyle O'Reilly to pick up the win and become the new United States champion here to start things off on night two of Survivor Series. And then after the match, Kevin Owens celebrating. He's got it over the Undisputed Era here. He's took out Strong. He took out Fish. He's taken Kyle's title. And now all that is left for him in his head, you have to think, is getting revenge on Adam Cole. But it's an 86 for that post-match celebration. Kevin Owens here. Really happy with this. Good start to things here on night two of Survivor Series. Hopefully, continue that with the next matchup with the women's universal title on the line. Shayna Baszler vacated. Shayna Baszler officially vacated her million dollar title on night one of Survivor Series and now she's getting her match against Rhea Ripley for the gold. In the build up to Shayna Baszler reforming No Mercy, Sonya Deville helping her take out Ripley in the weeks leading up here. How will Sonya Deville factor into this you have to think with her at ringside? We'll find out now. Women's Universal on the line, Rhea Ripley versus Shayna Baszler and in the end Shayna Baszler gets the win after a distraction from Sonya Deville, maybe as you'd expect, Shayna Baszler locking the coquina the clutch onto Rhea Ripley. Ripley not tapping out, trying to fight out of it, but she can't and she passes out in the end. Shayna Baszler, your new women's universal champion for a 76. Decent match, 75 Ripley, 70 Shayna. Happy enough with this. Shayna Baszler coming out on top, winning the gold, and then after the match, the referee and the medics checking on Rhea Ripley as Shayna and Sonya taunt her. Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville, no mercy, taunting Ripley here. Shayna with the belt for the 82 here after the match. Good work, happy with this as we head backstage for a promo from John Cena and The Rock. And they talk about how they thought they'd never team again. How they've had battles, they've had wars with each other, they've had matches. But how they, they through all of that, they've gained respect for each other. And now... Here they are, 10 years after once in a lifetime, doing it again. John Cena and The Rock, the most electrifying tag team in the history of sports entertainment, taking on the Usos, and The Rock says, This brings him no joy. Fighting, fighting Roman Reigns brought him no joy. Fighting Jacob Fardy would brought him no joy. Fighting the Usos would bring him no joy. But if this is what it takes, then he'll do it. Because he doesn't want to fight his family. But after everything the Usos have done, Maybe they need a lesson in respect from their big cousin for a 99. Brilliant promo work as you'd expect from John Cena and The Rock. Doing amazingly. That main event layer tonight hopefully will go really, really well with them together. But for now, next up, the vacant NXT North American title on the line. Chad Gable vacated yesterday. We'll get a new champion now. It's the Velveteen Dream taking on Alistair Black. This has been building for a long time. They're going at it. One final time, potentially, before Alistair Black moves to Raw. In the match, Alistair Black looks like he might have it. Isaiah Swerve sort of trying to get involved, but Alistair Black taking him out. The Velveteen Dream going for a super kick on Black from the distraction, but accidentally hitting the ref a bit. The referee going down. Black black massing the Velveteen Dream, covering him. The referee out of here, of course. Alistair Black trying to wake the ref. Alistair Black having some luck. The referee starting to start Alistair Black getting up, going towards the Velveteen Dream when he is grabbed by Dexter Loomis and Dexter Loomis taking him down and then dragging the Velting Dream's arm over him and leaving the ring. The referee seeing this going over, counting the one, two, three, your winner and the new NXT North American champion, the Velting Dream, following that interference from Dexter Loomis for a 90 here. What a match between these two. Alistair Black, a five-star match machine on this save, always bringing the business, always getting those high match ratings. 85 for him, 72 for Dream. I asked them to steal the show and they have well and truly done that thus far. What a match. And then afterwards, Isaiah Swerve Scott helping the Velveteen Dream up. Dexter Loomis getting a Dream and holding him up as well. Velveteen Dream getting his title. And Velveteen Dream's little group here that he had with Scott, adding a new member seemingly in the form of the ever intimidating and imposing Dexter Loomis who helps him get one over on Alistair Black here, Velveteen Dream. Very happy to have that gold and to get the to win here against Alistair Black for a 92. Really good match between these two and really good post-match. Been really happy with this feud here. Alistair Black moving to Raw. Can't wait to see what he does over there. A lot of guys he hasn't mixed that up with over there, I'm sure. If he does the ratings, it's, it doesn't even bear thinking about what he could produce there. Uh, but we're staying on NXT here. 
Next up with the NXT Women's title match, Raquel Gonzalez defending her gold against the former champ Becky Lynch and the person Becky Lynch beat for the belt, Tiga Knox. These three women have been fighting and brawling in and out of the ring for weeks now. Really and Regal had enough, made this triple threat match. Becky Lynch, potentially her last match from NXT here uh, after being drafted over to Raw. Can she win her title back? Will Tegan Knox win the title back? Or will Raquel come out on top? It's the NXT Women's title on the line. Triple threat. Gonzalez, Lynch, Knox. They make their entrances for a 92. And in the end, Raquel Gonzalez comes out on top. T Tegan Knox going for the shiniest wizard on Becky Lynch. But Raquel out of nowhere hitting her with a Western lariat. Flipping her over. Taking her out completely. And then lifting Lynch up and hitting a one-arm powerbomb before pinning her. Gonzalez pinning Lynch clean in the middle of the ring for an 82 here 87 lynch 72 knox 69 gonzalez really happy with this as raquel gonzalez retains the nxt women's championship pinning the man becky lynch clean to do so great work here raquel continuing her domination that she com continuing this dominant run she's been on since turning on the kokai at SummerSlam. Keeping her gold, pinning Becky Lynch of all people, Tiga Knox looking on disappointed but completely taken out that Western Lariat. It looked like she might have pinned Becky Lynch herself if she could have hit that shiniest wizard, but it wasn't meant to be. Uh, but a really good nonetheless. As next up, we have the WWE Championship match. We have the entrances of Montez Ford and the WWE Champion Adam Cole for an 83. And then the music of Drake Cat Maverick hits, and the Raw General Manager comes out. Adam Cole and Montez Ford are you know, what's going on, Drake Maverick announces that Kevin Owens is activating his world championship clause, and Adam Cole is screaming, no, that's not how this works, no, he's not happy, and then Kevin Owens' music hits, he walks out, and he hands the United States title to Drake Maverick while walking down to the ring for an 83, this match is a triple threat match, now, the WWE Championship on the line, Adam Cole versus Montez Ford versus Kevin Owens, and the three men going at it. Kevin Owens already had one match tonight. He's a bit tired. But he's giving this everything he got. He got revenge on Strong. On Fish. And on O'Reilly. He wants it on Cole. He wants the WWE title. Montez Ford wants his first WWE title. Adam Cole. It's odds of winning drastically going down with Owens' arrival. But he wants to retain this belt. And in the end. Kevin Owens managing to hit a, a pop-up powerbomb onto Montez Ford. And it, he covers him. And he's holding his legs and he's sitting up and he's covering him for the one and the two. When Adam Cole of nowhere hits a last shot onto Kevin Owens. Taking him out before Adam Cole covers Montez Ford himself for the one, two, three. Your winner and still the WWE Champion, Adam Cole. Even with Kevin Owens' inclusion, even with Kevin Owens inclusion Adam Cole managing to sneak the victory here. Under the nose of Owens. It looked like Owens was going to do it. But Adam Cole with that last shot out of nowhere. Getting the win. Pinning Montez Ford. For a 94, what a match between these three guys. Incredible work. Adam Cole with the 93, 84 Owens, 81 Ford. Both, all three men giving their all. But in just over 90 minutes, Adam Cole retaining the WWE Championship. Here in this triple threat match on what I am pretty sure is the match of the weekend. Incredible work. Really, really happy with that. As now is time for the main event. We had the entrance of... John Cena for a 90, followed by the entrance of The Rock for an 84. And then the match. The Usos, one of the greatest tag teams in Dodo history, I'm sure we can all agree, taking on two of the biggest superstars in the history of professional wrestling. John Cena, the 16-time world champion, and The Rock, the biggest star in Hollywood, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. All four men giving them their all. The Usos' chemistry, helping them get one over on these massive superstars but in the end the rock managing to hit jimmy uso with a rock bottom jay tries to get involved but john cena running and stopping him hitting him with an aa and the rock pinning jimmy for the one two three your winners john cena and the rock for an 88 what a main event uh, not quite as good as adam cole as the WTL match but I mean, that did feature Adam Cole, Kevin Owens, Montez Ford, so not surprising, but still, 88, really, really good, considering, I mean, among other things, The Rock's age, but still, 93 for The Rock, 94 Cena, 83 J, 79 Jimmy, what a match, what a main event here to end Survivor Series on that 88, after the match, John Cena and The Rock showing some respect for each other, 
both celebrating getting this big win over the Usos for another 88. What a show. Survivor Series Night 2 overall getting a 91. Uh, Night 1 got a 90, I think, so both shows doing similarly. Night 2 is doing slightly better. I think that Dota title match really helped with that 94 uh, going into the speeches here. Oh, I wish I could bring so many people. Kevin Owens doing double duty. Adam Cole. And I'm going to praise The Rock because he did really, really well promo-wise, uh, angle-wise and match-wise. Great performance. Great performance. Great performance. Pleased. Adam Cole was happy with my speech. Thank you, Adam. I was happy with your performance. And The Rock is pleased too. And that does conclude things here. What a pay-per-view special. Night 1 with the 90. Night 2 with the 92. Incredible work all around. Some great matches. A lot of title changes. The shape of the universe has changed drastically following Survivor Series. And I can't wait to see what happens next. In the next episode, in the fallout of this big pay-per-view. If you are looking forward to that and you've enjoyed this episode, I hope you have, then please like and subscribe for more. And thank you for watching.